Previously on Pokemon Mystery Dungeons Explorers of Sky. My partner will prevent the planet's paralysis. Ha! <laughs> Such a weird laugh. <laughs> what? What's so funny? Ha! So you claim someone went to the past with you. Incidentally, what, what's the name of your partner? Go on, say the name. Why ask such a thing? Can't tell me. No, that's not true. My partner's name is Lindsay. <laughs> oh, no! oh, 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 my God! Oh, my God. Ah, 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 ah. And now back to sisterly bonding. Hey, this is Alpha and Lindsay. <laughs> Back with the Let's Play of Pokemon Mystery Dungeons Explorers of the Sky. I'm leaving in two days, so hopefully we can finish this up. And I have, and I am in school. Yep. And I have to walk. I have different, I switched to new classes. Yep. To different classes. And even though I've got five and everybody else has got six, and lots of other people got six, mm -hmm. I still have five. And plus, I have to walk to the front of the neighborhood. And we're far into the neighborhood. And we're starting. So I, have to, so I have to walk a long way, and it's not fun. A new dawn. Shut up. I am... Mmm. This. This is... A lake. <laughs> Urgh. Hey, big cheese, what's up? What? Lindsay, where? What's up? What's up? What's up? Isn't this where I met you, Lindsay? Isn't this Beach Cave? Yes, we are near Beach Cave, actually. It's like the beach. So that means. What could is... it be? What is. What? Is... What? 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 So... Oh, it's part of the recording thingy. Oh! It's yeah. very red. It is very red. <laughs> so that means, could it be... No, it's, it is. We're in the past. We made it back to our world. Oh, did we do the time warp? We did the time warp again. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> yes! We made it, Lindsay. Ugh. Hi, Grove. Grove. Hey, Grovile. Hey, Grover. Look, we made it home. Wait, his name isn't Grover? No, his name is Grovile. Ooh. And he's a Grovile. It's like if I called you human. Oop. Back to Sorry. our world. Sorry about that. So we did it. We made it through. Back to this world. Hey, did we go back to the world? Yeah, we went back to the world. We made it back to our world. Let's go back to our world. They just, did they repeat words a no, lot? No, 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 Ah, I want to say it, but, like, it won't work. So I'm just going to have to do it like this. I know something else that won't work. Your face? Yes. No, back to, <laughs> back to the future, but, like, the past. So back to the past. Back to the past. Back to the past. Yes. 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 This is where I met yes. Lindsay. Yes. Who is also from the future and was Grovile's partner. And, you know, so that happened. Yes. 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 Let's see. I think it was right here. This was where I found Lindsay out cold. <gasps> she was not cold. She was sleeping. That's what out cold means. Shut up. <laughs> So that's what happened. The trip through time sent me to the eastern forest. Woo, 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 Not woo, woo. an orange, but that's why it was mentioned. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Woo, woo, woo. Woo, 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 woo. I don't know what this is from. <laughs> Underpants. Oh, ha, yes. Why so woo, it is. Why so it is. Can I move this? This is bothering me. The thing isn't on correctly. There. Wait. Having fun there? <laughs> That's good. Don't pat it. <laughs> it makes it sound bad. Stop. <laughs> that trip sent me into the eastern forest. 
And Lindsay and I both reached a world far away from each other. And half ch- and half and, and like a couple months apart. <laughs> and like ten chapters later. Exactly, it's a couple months. Well, I mean, he was probably there for a little bit before he started stealing time gears. I know. But it was still like but a like, couple months know, apart. <laughs> oh, that's right. There's a lot I don't understand, like the whole concept of time travel. Well, you see. Me neither, bro. You were in the future, and now you're in the past. You travel there you go. through time. Will you please explain it to us? Will you, you travel s- through time. Will you see through a series of really complex quantum mechanics? <laughs> you get through time very, travel. very, very, very uh, hard... Uh, I'm exaggerating this. Very hard... Uh, I forgot what she said. Concepts of strength Something of, of quantum physics. That so basically, what happens is you're from the past or from the future. Go to the past. Oh, you've traveled through time oh, and snap. probably, but not and a little bit of space. Oh snap! Oh snap! But this isn't really the place to talk. So let's go to Wiggly Tufts Guild and talk there. Before we went to the future, we trained in room there. It'll be the perfect place. Except you gotta go there first. Okay, let's go to Wiggly Tufts Guild. Yes, sugar. Hold on. I. That's a stupid idea. Will I be received well if I go to the guild? After all, I'm a wanted outlaw in this world, Tommy. <laughs> if I went to your guild, won't everyone be shocked and won't arrest me on the me? spot? Don't you think they'd try to capture me? Uh, come to think about it, you're right. Let's go into a dungeon. What to do? Mm. Oh, I know. Uh, there's a good place. <gasps> I think Lindsay remembers the place. <coughs> We're gonna go <coughs> to the ruins in under- Undertale. Oh my god. Please, please stop with your noises. But it will involve going through Treasure Town. It shouldn't be a problem if we lie low and sneak through. Lead the way. I never got this either. It's like, lay low and sneak through, then wouldn't everyone see the weirdos, like, ninja running through the, <laughs> through the town? <laughs> it's like, hey, I, what are those guys doing? <laughs> what are those? What are those? Weren't you gonna do a meme every episode and you completely just did not? You forgot about it? Yep. Oh well. Hey. What? I want you to go out into the garden and water though! Ha! <laughs> ha! Jokes for days! Jokes for like weeks, man. Okay, it's this way. Jokes for. How do all... they not see them ninja running through the town? There's a message from the Exploration Team Federation. You can do. Da da! Here comes Team Charm. Team Charm special episode. Special Team special. Charm, um, I believe Team Charm appears in a post-game thing. There's like, there's like the main story and then like the post-story story the in this story, game. Story, 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 story. Yeah, where there's like you can do more things and it's like, um, you can go find, uh, um. Legendary Pokemon, but there's like, uh, uh, I don't know why I'm blinking out so bad. You can find, um, Legendary Pokemon, but there's plot involved in it. So, like, these guys will take you to go see, um, Regice, Registeel, Regirock, and Regigigas. Hmm? Regirock, Registeel, Regice, and Regigigas, however you pronounce that one. Put it on the, the screen? really big one. Oh, people know who it is. Oh! It's a really big one and has like tree feet. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Tree feet? Yeah, it's it's like green on the bottom. Oh! I thought like you meant trees. like tree feet as if you were trying to say three no, feet. No, not three feet. Miserably. Tree feet. Hey, uh, so, I have a question. Team do Charm. Do you think these mints are inedible? No, you could probably eat them. Can I have it? I would advise against it. Why? Because it. Uh, yeah, go for it. Yes! <laughs> 
But wouldn't you rather have chocolate? Yes! <laughs> I want... What do you have in here? <laughs> because I like it. Hey, remember that? <laughs> remember the suspicious bush? <laughs> this cliff is known as Sharpedo Bluff. Just one. Oh, two, one. Two. One. Two. Take one with you for lunch. Take one, eat one now and take one for lunch. Get I'm it. taking one. I'm taking one for okay. lunch. Oh, shit. Okay. Creme brulee okay. creams. Creme brulee Diva chocolate truffles. I found them while we were shopping at Kohl's for... for Clothes. clothes and they were where interesting. Where I got my first day outfit. Uh, this cliff is known as Sharpedo Bluff. No. Sharpedo Bluff. No. Yes. I think the name comes from the fact that it's shaped like a Sharpedo. Mm. No you can't see it. Off. You can't see it from this angle, but like if you look from below, it looks like a Sharpedo. As far as I can tell, nothing seems out of the ordinary. Remember the suspicious bush I mentioned earlier? Yeah. It's gone. <laughs> it's down here. They threw it into the ocean. I lived here before I joined the guild. Oh, really? Go ahead. Go in. Really? Yep. Hmm. Poor McCheese lived all by himself. I mean, at least he didn't live in the future. I see. That's cr That's true. I see. But consider... Consider. 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 What happened before in the timeline where Grovile and Lindsay didn't go back to the past? McCheese was still here, and Lindsay was the one who convinced McCheese to actually go for the exploration team thing. So he would still be here and likely perish in the whole time freezing thing. I wrote a chapter about that in the story I wrote about this game. It's really sad. He writes like a, like a, ha, well, everyone's gonna die note, and they find it and stuff. Oh, when I put the whole thing in my mouth, now it tastes like Crippler. Right? It tastes so much like egg. Yeah. You can really taste the egg. I see. This is a hollow chamber in the face of a cliff. You guys are gonna get eaten! <laughs> Land shark! <laughs> Land shark! <laughs> oh. Is it a, it's a threat or, a, or the oh. left shark? It's the land shark. I think we found the, the name of the video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> no, but it, wait, no, 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 no. But what? Is it the left or is it the right shark? Left. Okay. Woo. I'm so glad no one's wrecked this place. <sighs> That's proof of how little, attracts, uh, how little notice this place attracts. <laughs> Tiny violin. <laughs> it may be better if we stay here for the time being. Agreed. Okay. Here's here's the bullshit. Here it is. Here it comes. Here's the BS. Here's the bullshit. Here it comes. The whole bullshit thing? Yo, here's my rant. <laughs> but Lindsay. I never expected you to be the very same Lindsay. Oh, well, me neither, but nobody else is named Lindsay. <laughs> Apparently. Apparently all of them have stupid anyway, names like Anyway, read, like you know Grovile. Oh, Grovile, can you tell us more about that? Yes, Lindsay and I we were jointly investigating the planet's paralysis. Done. Done. A Pokémon and a human paired together? Yeah. And Lindsay had or has a special ability like no other. It's called the dimensional scream. We relied on that special ability to investigate the planet's paralysis. It played a vital part. The special ability? You mean the dimensional scream? scream! Don't you? Exactly. But the dimensional scream has a drawback. Bullshit warning in three, two, one. But nothing happened. <laughs> the dimensional scream requires the presence of a trusted Pokemon partner. Why? What? <laughs> Why? What? That's such a stupid requirement. What? Why does that make any sense at all? Yeah, it's like, why is that what a thing? What the hell? And it's not even, like, played for, like, that necessary a plot thing, like... 
The, the only re okay, I'll, let me do one more. Without the partner, the ability cannot be triggered. A trusted partner. That's why we work together. It's like they could have worked together because of literally any other reason. They wanted to have somebody to stick by. They trusted each other. They had a similar vision, you know? They loved each not other. To, not to... They had romantic feelings for each other. Oh, uh, that's bestiality. What? Um, <laughs> That's... They're, they're different species. Oh, yeah. Nah. It's like Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. Beast, yeah, Um, the dimensional scream is set off by triggers tied to places where the time gears are hidden. Also, why? <laughs> because it's like, okay, wait. Because if. Let me, let me do blah, 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 one more. Me... Because if. Uh -huh. So, say with me cheese. Uh huh. Every time you try, you touched something. Yes. You would get a vision. Every single time. No, 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 no. Okay, so I see what you're saying. Like, yes. every single time you touch literally anything, you would get a vision, and that would be really Super bad, too. Annoying. But drowsy. But a lot of other things that had nothing to do with the time gear. Right? Yeah. Right? In the past. Not in the future, though. Okay? But wait. We need to find out where the time gears were hidden in the past. We need the dimensional screen to accomplish that. Okay, good with that. Wait a second. You said there has to be a trusted partner for the d nearby for the dimensional scream to work. But the dimensional scream was triggered not long after we met. See? Your point? See, it's just to show. It's like, oh, she trusted him from the beginning. Oh, they're such close friends. It's like, there's no other reason for it to have that requirement other than to be like, oh, it's so feelsy. They trust each other so much. That's a face. Thank you. Do it again. Ah! Ah! <laughs> There's no other reason for it. Bullshit rant. Ding. A uh, a you trusted each other approved. from the start. Wow. Good for you guys. Bullshit rant. Kitty kitty meow meow approved. Meow. Kitty kitty meow meow. Kitty kitty meow meow. Uh, when you put it like that, it's a little embarrassing. Ugh. In addition, Lindsay uh, developed amnesia. Sorry, I had to yawn. It's okay. You didn't have to yawn that loudly. <gasps> Jeez. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> upon meeting you, <gasps> Mc, upon meeting you, McCheese, your uh, uh, your partner had someone to turn to. Perhaps Lindsay grew to trust you very quickly because of that. <gasps> Turning. Whee! Did I hear the phone? You probably heard, sir. Okay. Oh. There's another thing I don't understand. Me too. Me too. Is the dimensional scream triggered in response to only time gears? Right. The opposite is also true. The dimensional scream is not triggered if places that aren't connect in places that aren't connected to the time gears. Except for, you know, <coughs> Drazzy. Yeah. Hmm. Really? Hmm. That's not how I remember it. I wanna eat this. Don't. Why not? Because I won't give you another, and then you can't make your friend jealous. So? So you wanted to do that. Yeah, but I don't have to. I can just buy my own chocolate. No. Yes! Don't want to. Listen, Lindsay. Do you remember that time with Drowsy and the first exploration with the waterfall? Uh, it had nothing to do with time gear, but even in a place like that, the dimensional scream was triggered, wasn't it? Okay. Listen to the reason they give for this, okay? Are you sure? But that never happened in the future. The dimensional scream was never triggered by places that have no tie to time gears whatsoever. Well, if that's true, I don't know why it would work differently here. They don't give an explanation. They just don't know. They're like, uh, they wrote themselves into a corner with this scene. They're like, oh, yeah, why didn't it work here? No, no, it's here. And they did it in such a way where it seems like they have some sort of reason for it works here, it doesn't work here. But no, they don't know why it does that. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Are you all right? <coughs> Let me beat on your back some more. <coughs> Better? <coughs> <coughs> your rant 
ranting killed me. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah! <laughs> I died because you ranted too hard. Okay, so so here's what I what solution I came up with in my writing, right? So my solution is what? Why you do this, Anders? Yeah. So my solution is very simply that. The, well, first of all, I just completely retconned the partner thing because it was stupid. Um, so she can just use it on her own whenever she feels it, whenever it triggers. It doesn't need to have anyone nearby. Can... That it triggers in response to what you need to see most at that time. What's most important at the time. So the most important thing to them was helping out the Azuril and whatnot. So, like, they needed to know that. So they saw, so the, she saw it. The, then the time gears were the most important thing, so they're seeing that. In the future, like, the time gears are, like, the most important thing, so she only sees those things. See? Oh! In the Why waterfall, did they just do that? In the waterfall... Seeing that you could get through the waterfall was the most important thing to them at the time. So that's what they saw. Why could they just do that? Why do you have to be the smarter one than they did? And it has... It, I mean, also, the dimensional scream has to be something that's related to the object. So in the future, they touch the waterfall. The waterfall didn't have to do with anything they needed to know, so they didn't see anything. That's my theory. Maybe that's the reason the writers came up when they just didn't say it because there's no way Grovile would know that. Maybe they just wrote themselves in the corner and they don't know. Anyway, I'm done with my rant and we can continue on with the game. Ah, oh, finally. <laughs> you killed me. <laughs> well, I choked. <laughs> Perhaps things are just oh, different in this wow. world. I don't know. <laughs> Perhaps the nature of the dimensional scream was altered in the past. No, probably not. That doesn't mean. Why would the power change depending on what time period you're in? Yeah. So, in the future, the dimensional scream doesn't work in places that have no connections to time gears. Apparently. That sucks. Ooh. That explains it somehow. Somehow. Maybe that's why that time when we were in the future uh nothing worked because it doesn't sucked. work because it has nothing to do with anything it's just a waterfall oh. no nobody was by here that did anything important to us nobody did this and it's it's freaking stupid is and so everything is blue and everything and is gray and now it's all gray boulders and they're floating and uh, gray floating boulders I'm gray, double D, double gray, double D, double day, double D, double day. Maybe I couldn't envision anything the time when we were in the future. <gasps> because we were in a place that wasn't tied to any time gears. Because for some reason, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's when my dimensional scream failed to work. Because for some reason, that just makes sense. Anyway, that's my biggest hang up about the story. Otherwise, I love it. <laughs> I just like the music. I love this story so much. I love the music a lot. It's just that one thing just does make no sense. Uh, it's still you. Maybe Grovile's right about the future and got the past and the past being different, or different enough to make my dimensional scream ability work differently. I don't get it. Me either. Why you guys suck? <laughs> anyway. Like I was saying, we were investigating the planet's paralysis. Done. Done. Dun. We used the dimensional scream ability to but identify but the locations of the time gears in your da, world da, but while we were in the future. But, but, uh, that's, that's it. it. See, all those all those um, dimensional screams uh, where there was just a voice, except for Azuriel, uh, it, it was Grovile. Yay, that mystery is solved. I I got that years ago. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Here, here. a time, time gear is here. here. I, I see. see. Place, Place the, the drought stone in Groudon's heart. That lifts it's the fog. fog. Why are you doing it with me? Huh? Very, Very well, well done. done. Good, Good job, job, partner. partner. I don't know. Yeah, it's him. 
After identifying the locations where the time gears would be in the past. Excuse me while Lindsay dies. <laughs> okay. We <coughs> took the passage okay. of time that brought us from our world into in your future to this world. <gasps> However... Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa. Are, are you okay? Yeah. And this thing at the beginning was Girl Vile 2. Whoa, nobody knew that. <laughs> no. Don't let go. Sorry! You're hurting me. So, why? My ears. Oh, sorry. Just a little longer. No, too late. Come on, hang on! I can't! No! I... Oh. No, I can't... Hold on! We encountered turbulence while we were traveling through time. And, then and if you want an explanation, <laughs> that one there's actually an explanation for. You just have to uh, beat like the final boss of the post game to find out. Really? Yep. Why? Have you ever played the post game? What's a post game? Post game is you go through stuff after you beat. Um, no, after what's you. The, what's the name? The what? <clears throat> what's the name, the name of the post game. It's the same game. It's just after the credits roll. Oh, wait, you've played it. Yeah. Have you seen it? No. Well, you about to. Okay. Well, you, you're going to maybe okay. during, like, winter break or something. Or, like, you know, we'll have to... Just <sighs> That's also a really big hassle. We might just do it during winter break. Okay. We... Yes. Okay. Thus, Lindsay and I became separated. So... For some reason, Lindsay got amnesia and was turned into a Pokemon. I don't know. I don't get I how. I still don't know that one. I don't get how time traveling turbulence gives you amnesia. Maybe you hurt your head and you got brain damage or something. But besides that, I don't get how. Well, you know. right. how do you turn into a Pokemon? Okay. Um. How do you turn so into a Pokemon? Imagine like a you are transferring data. From one computer to another computer, yeah. okay? Yeah. And while in the middle of transferring data, yeah. the connection is severed. That okay? That sucks! Yeah? So some of the data will get over to the other computer and some and won't. And some might be bugged. Some, some data that gets over there might be corrupted. So because the link to a Pokemon? because the link severed and it's basically yeah it's that concept the severed link yeah the they that took sounds the, like a really they took cool the passage of, of link from a legend of Zelda, yes. severed link yes um they they took the passage of time and then it uh broke like okay. dialga broke it except they already were at the place they were oh, trying to go so it didn't that's corrupt why. them in any way but um he's trying to corrupt them no, uh, actually, no, that's the wrong thing. That's just Celebi traveling. It's a different thing. But um, it, it was shattered in the same way that Celebi's time travel was shattered. Okay. But not by Dialga. Okay. Um, <laughs> but, like, the girly Dialga. Girly Dialga? Girly Dialga. What girly Dialga? Like, oh, yes. Like, like that. Like, girl? Girl. Girl? Girl. Uh, I can only guess that it has something to do with our accident while ta traveling in time. Now watch, watch your hero just be like a jerk. Mm. I I remember, I remember just um, I remember just being super disappointed in the hero right right now. Okay. I I came from the future, and not just that, I came with the mission of preventing the pa planet's paralysis. Mm -hmm. I don't know. See, it's hard to say. Yeah. I don't know. It seems so uh, outlandish. It doesn't feel real somehow. As if it was a game! Because <gasps> it's a game. game! Oh, I thought you were going to say game theory. No. Because it's was... a game theory. Mm. Thanks for watching. No. No, Lindsay, no. I will do what I want. All right. This is, this is the part. So, Lindsay. Yeah. You may not remember any of this, but... I'm listening. 
You were my closest friend. Aww. Wait. I worried about you when we were separated. Wait, I remember when I re- when I read this the first time, I was like, oh, and now I know what's going to happen, and I'm going to be so upset, because yeah. I was so blessed. I'm glad to see you're safe. Your appearance may have changed. And though you have lost your memory, you're still you. And none of this alters the fact that you remain my friend. Oh, Lindsay. I'm glad to see you oh, again. Oh, Lindsay, will you marry me? <laughs> dot, 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 dot. After he pours his heart out, he just dots. And he she says nothing. Says nothing to him. After he pours his heart out, like, I'm so glad to see you. You're my best friend. Nothing. What the hell is it's wrong like, with that him? That is such a jerk move. Like, comfort him. Comfort him a little bit. What the hell is wrong with me? Come on. What the hell is wrong with me? (laughs) Me, I ask myself that every day. (laughs) What the hell is wrong with me? (laughs) Yes. Why? (laughs) Because he's a jerk. (laughs) Now. What the hell is wrong with me? We have to decide on our course of action. Like I've told you before. I'm going to collect the time gears again. What are you going to do? I'm probably going to die. Um, I'm a little worried about how time stops in the region where its time gear is removed. (sighs) But you're sure that it'll only be temporary. Can't we, like, I don't know, get all the Pokemon that would be in that area out of the area first? Like, you know, when it's... Uh, that's right. As soon as the time gears are set in place at Temporal Tower... Time will be restored to normal state everywhere. There's no time to uh, evacuate people. Well then, we'll go too. I'm completely trusting you, blindly, for some reason. We'll go with you, Grovile. Taking a time gear will badly affect the Pokemon that live in that area. But we have to prevent the planet's paralysis. Okay, then. We'll go together. But the hour is late. We're also exhausted from all the running we've done. We, sh- we should rest up tonight. We'll leave in the morning. Please give me the headphones. I just want to hear for a second. This is my favorite. This is my f- one of my favorite scenes. Let me listen to it. It's so great. I love Grovile so much. Platonically. Hmm. McCheese isn't here. Hmm. Maybe outside. There he goes. Should I listen to the music? There isn't music yet. What's the matter? Can't sleep? Yeah, just thinking. Thinking about Dustmore. No, that's not it. Sure, finding out we were being deceived with him is a real shock. But hearing your story earlier, Gravile, it really drove it home. What Dustin Wise said in the future really was true. And it made me realize that Lindsay really did come from the future. I was mulling over things like that. Hey! Look, Gravile. Sunlight. It's sunrise. Music should be right right now. Can I have it now? It's pretty, isn't it? Yes. Maybe it's because we were in the future so long. Oh, you're so loud now. I know, right? It's almost like the headphones block out sound. Wow. Maybe it's because we were in the future for so long. But he didn't think that a sunrise could ever feel so renewing. The sun rises, then it sets. Mick. Lindsay left when I wasn't looking. We take that for granted, and that's only natural. The things we take for granted, they're really the most essential things, and they're precious. 
All I'd ever known is the future's world of darkness. Upon coming to this world, and seeing the sun for the first time, it was staggering. Seeing it. It strengthened my resolve to turn history away from a future of darkness. Sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset. sunrise. There is one thing I wanted to ask of you, McCheese. Will you marry me? It's about that time in the future. Yeah, we... When we were confronted by Dialga. Frankly, we're, we were in a no-win situation. There was no hope. Like a girl. Like a girl. We shall be rid of you for all time. This is the end. For you. <laughs> Yeah, we know what happened. Ugh. Hey, Lindsay, grow vile. Dun dun. You can't give up. Dun dun. Ugh. You say not to give up. But what can we possibly do in this bleak situation? Uh. We have to uh, think. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. But when all seemed lost, you refused to give up. Even I had given up. Just like this airheads. What compelled you? How did you manage to stay so strong? Well, I wonder too. I really don't know. Before, I was a little wimp. But maybe. Maybe it was because Lindsay stood by me. Lindsay. Take a look at this. Oh my god. <gasps> the thing! The thing! This. What could it be? We haven't looked at that in a while. No, we haven't. There's an odd pattern inscribed on it. I've never seen anything like it. This pattern is new to me. Where is it? This is my relic fragment. It's my personal treasure. I have this dream of one day solving the mystery behind this fragment. <gasps> well, today's your lucky day. But I was such a coward. I couldn't work up the courage to go to the guild and apply as an apprentice. And then Lindsay came. It was then that I met Lindsay. Lindsay. Well, okay. We're using this for the third time. I'm putting my faith in you, Lindsay. Yes, I totally believe in you, Lindsay. And we're gonna use it at least one more time, I think. Yes, Lindsay was always there to cheer me up. And... Grow. Wow, this is scary. But we need to be brave. Mm. Mm. And I need to face mm. up to this. Mm. There's no giving up now, Lindsay. Mm. Mm. Be brave. Be the bravest ever. It gave me. It all gave me courage. With Lindsay, I felt like I could overcome any challenge. That's how I came to feel over time. Maybe that's why I was able to keep going without giving up. Hmm. All right. I think I understand what you're saying. Yes, Lindsay has a special quality that makes others feel that way. The same way I care for Lindsay as a friend. You, McCheese, also feel that same way about Lindsay. Lindsay is lucky to be blessed with a friend like you. Well, it's morning. We should be leaving soon. Yes. All right. Can it's I go a... now? I'm listen to it again. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, go for it. Thank you. There are certain scenes I'm gonna wanna listen to it, but I'll let you know. Okay. May I have a teensy? What? May I have a small piece? Yes. Just take a bite of it. Thank you for eating half of it. You already ate half of it. Eating half of the half of it. Yeah. yeah. Alright, it's agreed. That we will cook all the time gears. All the time gears? First, we have to decide which time gear we should get. 
Let's check the winter map. On the map, on the map, on the map, on From the here. map, on the map. And we're gonna go to Tree Shire Forest. In here. A little far there. But Moan's guarding it. Awesome. Yep, we're gonna check the sentry. We don't wanna do that. Because you're a criminal. That's it then. That's where we're going. Tree Shire Forest. <clears throat> here we go. Oh my god, this is the place I remember. Mm -hmm. This is it. This is the entrance to Tree Shot Forest. I thought this is where we met, uh, Sylvie. Oh. For some reason. It's not the place you met Sylvie. Uh, for some reason, before we played it, I thought this is where we met Sylvie, but like, oh. kind of nope. grayish. Nope, I don't think this is it. And I'll let you know why later. What is it, Gravel? The atmosphere somehow feels different than last time. Nope. I must be imagining it. We'll go when you're ready. Okay. Mm, check storage. And storage. And it. Mm -hmm. I'm good otherwise. Nope, oh, and save. We'll never get to see our feet. So that was uh, 45 minutes of cutscenes. Really? Yep. So let's spend the last 15 minutes dungeon crawling and more cutscenes. Okay, we're gonna go. Let's go. I mean, hey, that's what you get. We you have Gravile in our party. He is awesome. I love having Gravile in my party. You said that last time. Uh, uh, no. Why? Because I feel like it's gonna be a monster house. I don't want a monster house. And the next room is If I can't house. avoid it, uh. <laughs> I'm, I'm told you I'm conditioned to fear uh, gummies in a room. Fear gummies? Fear gummies. What are fear gummies? Fear gum- like I, I am afraid of gummies. Oh. Yes. I'm not actually afraid of gummies, it's just like... I don't think you can go another way. Yeah, this is just- yeah. Alright, gotta go in that room! Don't- oh, okay! <laughs> There was just a pink gummy there. Okay. Well, good job. Yeah. It probably should have been obvious there wasn't gonna be a monster house on the first floor. Calm mind. Is your mind calm yet, Arthur? Uh, n yeah, pretty calm. Good. Calmer than it has been. Should be. Or else You're I kill you! Sleeping. Well, that wouldn't make it very calm. What, killing you? Yeah. Yeah. I know. Who? Oh. Aren't I great? Just gotta ignite the light. Why? The light. Why? Why now? Why not? The song in the night. Like the 4th of September. You like that? Isn't the 4th of September yet, though? Oh, you have to light it up like it's gonna be the 4th of September. What's the special about the 4th of September? Oh, you'd know if you were celebrating it. Which, I, you're not. I don't know what's a holiday. Oh, it's the most important holiday. Even more important than uh, other holidays that we celebrate? Yep. More important. Why? Because, like, everybody's doing it. It's a new trend. But it's also been a super, like, um, it's been celebrated for many generations. Alright, so tell me. Yeah? When and how was uh, the 4th of September created? The 4th of September yes. was created mm -hmm. by Dave. Dave who? Dave Buster. Dave Buster. Dave Buster. Dave and Buster. <laughs> Dave Buster. Yes. Uh, and how you celebrate mm -hmm. is you eat some delicious snacks. Yeah. And uh, you wait for someone to break in your house and give you the gift of 
uh, sausages. Of sausages? <laughs> yeah. Give you the gift of sausages. The gift of sausages. Have you ever heard of it? No! Yeah. It allows you to um, create sausages out of anything. And he also gives you some like mini wieners, mini, mini sausages uh, to go along with it. So you can- uh, What is wrong with you? So you can practice. What is wrong with you? I like Nine Tails. Nine Tails is cool. So anyway, the 4th of September. <laughs> I don't celebrate it. Nobody celebrates it. Everybody celebrates it. It's like the next big thing. Yeah. Honey, let me tell you. Honey? Nobody cares. Honey? Honey, let me tell you. Uh, <laughs> boo, boo. Excuse no me. No one cares. Are you calling me boo? Shut up. Really? Yeah. Okay, I'm not your boo. And so? So why are you calling me that? Makes my history teacher calls people boo all the time. Really? She said like, she was like, you know, she was, she was like, she was like, okay, boo, something, something. Oh, something, you're something, not something. a friend. What is this about trends? I said friend. Ah, uh, I said trend. You're not a trend either. You're a long term thing. Yeah. You're great. You're the best ever. You're like talented and pretty. Like, how dare you? <laughs> I was talking about the Vespa Queen, but you know, what you do. Yeah. You weren't talking about the Vespa Queen, were you? What? You weren't talking about the Vespa Queen, were you? No, I was talking about you. Oh, thank you. You fool. <laughs> You're the fooliest fool who you're ever fooled. Fool. You're the you're the foolishly foolish fool who have foolishly <sighs> foolish dreams. I've been foolishly foolish, foolishly foolish, 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 foolish fooled. Thank you, Francisca von Karma. You're welcome. I like to make everyone's day brighter by calling them foolishly foolish fools. I think you misunderstand how to. Oh, and she's gone again. Shh. If I can begin to do something to do right by you, I would do almost anything. I would even learn how to love. You're getting more candy? Seriously, my dude? What? Seriously? You're getting more candy? Can you not? Then eat something like it's, <laughs> so. So is uh, Game Lindsay also getting hungry? Uh, eat so, eat like a pretzel or something. Still need candy. Come on. So what'd you get? Nice. And I was gonna get a thing like you could. Okay, come on. Hmm. I don't know why I didn't take the headphones when you left. Oh, uh, gee. Thank you, Grovo. Mm-hmm. Oh, Grovo's over there. Oh, I hate and can't move for a while. You can't do anything. It's like awful. Oh. What? The paused, the paused, uh, no thing is awful. I just saw someone go, and now I just saw someone leave. Yeah, they teleported away. Here we go, deep tree shot first. I don't know. 